Anthony Grasso here bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on QuantumScape. I will go over a summary of the company, its products, recent headline news, which is very important, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation. So like, let's get right into it. So what is QuantumScape? Well, the origin of QuantumScape go back, back about a decade. The founders of the company include Jagdeep uh, Sin and Sanford professor Fritz Prinz. The mission was to develop the next generation solid state lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles. With this approach, the founders were convinced that the technology would be cheaper, have higher performance and much faster charging and less vulnerability to overheating. They had little trouble getting early interest in the company. In 2012, QuantumScape was able to forge a partnership with Volkswagen and the automaker wound up eventually investing about $300 million in the startup. There was also investment by Microsoft co-founder uh, Bill Gates. In terms of a public offering though, QuantumScape merged into a special purpose acquisition company, SPAC, in September. The deal resulted in a $1 billion in funding. But QuantumScape is uh, still more of a concept company. Even though the technology is compelling, they don't expect it to be available commercially before 2024. This timeline may prove optimistic. Uh, all, all you have to do is look at Tesla to see that deadlines are often missed. As well as battery technology is extremely, uh, extremely complicated. This is why there has been only a moderate innovation for decades now on this technology. Quantum uh, Escape could succeed with his ambitious efforts though. And the revenue potential is so substantial where according to the company's own estimates, it could top $6.4 billion by 2028. But we all know that a lot can happen in the next few years. What could happen if Tesla or Toyota may have its own innovations as well as various other startups like Solid Power? And I'll get into a video specifically on Solid Power later on. Even Apple could be a rival. Some hurdles include if there's going to be a need for um, there's going to be a need for building global infrastructure and strong production systems. There could also be challenges with getting uh, adoption of the technology, especially if there are other alternatives that are currently on the market. QuantumScape does not uh, does have some advantages, though. The company has more than 200 patents on its technology and roughly 100 trademarks. This intellectual property is quite valuable. Next, QuantumScape is the only lithium metal solid state battery company that has an OEM partner. This provides a first mover advantage in the market and strong momentum. Another advantage of QuantumScape technology could have applications beyond the auto industry. For example, it could be useful for wearables and your smartphones, you know. So, uh, but let's look at a news article that just hit the press today, and it is a doozy. Uh, this article comes from Yahoo Finance. Uh, the QuantumScape Investor Alert. Bronstein, Gerwitz, and Grossman LLC notifies QuantumScape's corporate shareholders with losses exceeding $100,000 of class action and encourages shareholders to contact the firm. So this is from Yahoo Finance. We're going to go over the article just for a minute. Um, so the class action seeks to recover damages against the defendants for alleged violations of the federal securities laws under the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. The complaint alleges that throughout the class period, defendants made false or misleading statements and or failed to disclose that the company uh, purports uh, success related to its solid state battery power, battery life and energy density, which were significantly overstated that the company is unlikely to be able to scale its technology to the multi-layer cell necessary to provide electric vehicles and that the result uh, of the foregoing. Uh, defendants' positive statements about the company's business operations and projects were materially misleading and or lacked a reasonable basis. A class action um, lawsuit has already been filed. If you wish to review a copy and you go there. So, oh my God. So this is, uh, this is huge news. This is not good. This is horrible news for the company. So, but, um, but besides this, let's go look at the fundamentals and look at an analyst and let's put it all together. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to briefly go over fundamentals here of the company, and I'll give my recommendation shortly. So QuantumScape uh, Corp is trading at $55.95 a share as of today. In uh, this historical period uh, back to September, it was trading around 20. It did have a huge upswing to 131, and then just nosedive back down to $56. Now, well, when you when you talk about financials, we we don't have any of the of the company right now. There's there's not out anything yet. And so, but let's look at the uh, analyst ratings. Uh, let's first go to Weeble. There is a 100% sell recommendation on Weeble. 
uh, and their price targets are at $28 right now. And let's look at the other trading count and uh, um, their price targets are around $28. They have a moderate sell. I don't think they uh, took in consideration. That's only one analyst, by the way. I don't think they took in consideration this news. And right here, we're looking currently at a market capitalization of a concept company that's not even uh, proven yet at $20 billion. So uh, the analysts sell rating on QuantumScape, and I agree with those analysts, and I am a sell position on QuantumScape right now. And I'll explain why. If you're a day trader, have fun with it, but I don't want to touch this company in the next. Uh, let's see what that lawsuit does and, and gets through before I would even consider any position on QuantumScape. So um, definitely a strong sell. That's my recommendation. So uh, it faces considerable hurdles to commercialization right now. And let me bring it back here. So, so QuantumScape's biggest hurdle is that its product's promised performance may be hopefully unattainable. Uh, we know that based upon the current class action lawsuit that just hit Yahoo Finance the other day. So, and competition is fierce. There are many com uh, companies working to boost the performance of EV batteries. And there's another, I'm gonna go in a couple of them. So one such rival, is Amprius. It's way ahead of where Seeking Alpha thinks QuantumScape will be uh, when it finally introduces its product in 2024. Amprius's silicon anode technology was really, originally developed at Stanford University and enables dramatic improvements in the energy density and specific energy of lithium ion batteries, according to Crunchbase. Uh, simply put, that Seeking Alpha thinks that Amprius which has raised $55 million in funding is already way ahead where Tesla thinks it can be in seven years from now. That's huge. QuantumScape is unlikely to be able to exceed the state of the art when its product is introduced. Uh, despite the drop in share price recently, its shares are way overvalued to begin with, with that market capitalization, which I just showed you. Um, so I don't think we should pay, be patient with QS stock right now. I think we should see where that class action lawsuit gets them about making projections about their technologies that are drastically overstated. That's huge. Let's, let's see exactly where, where that is. Now the solid state battery technology, I love, I love that technology. I think it's going to be a huge thing in the future. It's expected to offer advantages in charge time, cycle, life, safety, and operating temperature over lithium ion batteries. Investors will need to have a long horizon time though, as well as a stomach for volatility to hold shares until any company uh, proves out its technology. So regardless of this company itself, any co company that prove that says they offer solid state uh, battery technology and it's unproven, I would be wary of that because especially with this class action lawsuit as we're looking at. So there is, uh, there you have it. That's my analysis of uh, QuantumScape Scott. It is a huge sell right now. So if you're a day trader, have fun with it. Everybody else, stay away from it. All right, so if you like this video, smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you like financial news that could benefit you. And please leave a comment down below of other stocks you would like me to review. I definitely read those comments and I will get to your stock soon in the next videos. And until then, until then ciao for now.